counting or finding the number of natural number solutions to this equation x plus y plus uh, the product xy equals to 76. Now notice the expression is not factored, and so it will be useful to factor it so we can equate factor pairs. That's kind of the primary idea right here. And it's it's not something I, that I was that familiar with until just looking at uh, YouTube math stuff, you know. But uh, what I mean by x, y right here is a number like, for example, you know, 1 comma 3, let's say, would be an ordered pair that satisfies these conditions. The, the natural numbers, folks, are the numbers uh, just 1, 2, 3. They're the positive integers. The, the phrase positive integers and natural numbers are, are synonyms. So or it's, you got 1, 2, 3, uh, all the way out. And again, a lot of people like to call the natural numbers the positive integers. Okay. So that's the set. All right. Now, so those are the only kind of solutions. We're not looking for fractional solutions, zero or negative values, just good old fashioned counting numbers. Now, so what I did is I just recopied the equation and you just do what you can at first. We, we at least can factor uh, the y out right here. So we factored the y out here and here. You got this expression. Now, the next step is the key step. We actually create a common binomial factor right here. Notice we just had x. Now we have x plus 1. And so uh, you can think of a 1 as being in front of this. All right, the 1 times all of that. And so we have x plus 1 is a binomial factor here just itself. And then x plus 1 certainly is a binomial factor here. To, to add this 1, we paid a price. We added 1 to 76 to get 77. All right. But the nice thing is, is uh, we can factor the x plus 1 out and we get this factor pair situation where we have the factor x plus 1, binomial factor x plus 1 times 1 plus y equals to 77. 77 has four factor pairs and we have to consider the order here because this is an ordered pair. 1, 3 means something different than 3, 1, right? And so the only factor pairs of 77 are 1 times 77, 77 times 1, 7 times 11, and 11 times 7. And so at this point right here, you, you can see that if you equate x plus 1 to 1, you're not going to have any natural number solutions. x plus 1 equals 1 would correspond to x equals 0, right? but we're only looking for natural number solutions. We would get actually zero and 76 here, right? But we're only looking for natural number solutions. So there's no solution to this. And in a similar fashion, there's no solution right here. These would be integer solutions, but not natural number solutions. Now down here, if we equate x plus one to seven, I'll just write down the solution here. And the arithmetic is very straightforward. 6 would be equal to your x value, right? Okay. Or it's, if you equate 7 to x plus 1, that forces x to be 6. And if you equate 11 to y plus 1, that forces y to be 10. Okay. So that's one solution. And y'all, it's just in reverse down here. If you equate x plus 1 to 11, you get x equals to 10. Not surprising, this is a symmetrical looking situation here. Uh, but anyway, those are your two solutions, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, ordered pair 6, 10 and 10, 6. It's not hard to verify this in the original. If you take, if you substitute, let's say 6 right here, uh, you would get 6, right? It's easy to just check here. 6 plus 10 plus 6 times 10. Of course, I'm using the, the, dot, the dot here to connote multiplication. Okay, so that certainly equals 76. All right, 60 plus 10 is 70 plus 6 is 76. So there you go, folks. And, and again, similarly for the other order pair solution, 10 comma 6. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Y'all, this is called completing the product, by the way. This process is referred to as completing uh, the product. I've heard it called Simon's favorite factoring trick, but it's called completing the product. I think in slightly more popular parlance, I think. Vernacular. So completing the product, we turn a bunch of terms uh, 
into a product. And that makes it easier to equate the uh, factor pairs. And I'll abbreviate product in the name of brevity here. So the, the, this is called completing the product. Thanks for viewing.